you guys welcome back okay so today's video is going to be another duping the vibes type video if you've watched any of my previous kind of dupe type videos you know that uh, oftentimes it'll be a palette that I just cannot get out of my brain I see it I like the color story I really really love it and it's kind of like you know you got them colors already you don't need to buy it. It's kind of expensive. So I will sit down, go through my collection, and try and dupe it <laughs> for multiple reasons, really. Uh, one reason is because of the fact that I really do want to see if I actually already have these specific shades and colors that I can create a palette from. Um, another reason is because sometimes we'll see a color story and it looks really nice, but it's kind of like, do I really want that color story in a palette? Like all of those colors are gorgeous, but I, do I want that in one palette and do I want to pay that price for it? And another reason is I just love going through my singles and swatching and just kind of, you know, getting more acquainted with the shadows that I have in my collection. So there's various reasons why I like to do these videos. Also, I know sometimes you guys kind of see a palette and you're not really sure if you um, want that palette. Or maybe you already have those colors in your collection. So, you know, I like for you guys to just kind of sit down with me. Grab your singles, grab your palettes, and try to dupe it as well if this is a palette that you actually have been thinking about buying. Now, the palette that I'm duping the vibes for today is the Alien Cosmetics Bunnies palette. Now, when I saw this palette, it immediately grabbed my attention, and that's when I know I really want a palette, is when it grabs my attention and I can't let it go. So that's what this palette did. Um, I love the color story of this palette, the shades, the shadows. I just love it. And the packaging, okay? The packaging is super cute. It's like these cute little sexy, you know, female bunny type <laughs> characters or whatever on the palette. I don't know who they are, if it's a real cartoon or if it's just packaging. I don't know, but I think it's cute. So, anywho... I'm talking a lot, but just want to give you the basic idea of why I like to do these videos. So with this palette, as you can see, there are 12 shades. Um, like I said, it retails for $65 on the Alien Cosmetics website. It says that there are 12 vegan and cruelty-free shades, 36.55 um, millimeter pans, as well as 26.5 millimeter pans. You can see the two different sizes. The shimmers are in larger pans. The mattes are in smaller pans. There's two chameleon shades, one duo chrome, three shimmers, and six mattes. So I'm just guessing as far as which are the chameleon shades, the duo chrome, and all that stuff. Honey, I don't know. When you're looking at a picture, it's kind of hard to tell. So, yeah, we're just going to try and dupe this palette today as best as we possibly can. Now, these are the shadows that I have pulled already from my singles, just trying to get as close to this color story as I possibly can. Um, I don't know what side I'll have the picture on, probably that side over there. But yeah, when I first started pulling these shadows, I was like, dang, I don't have any swatches to go off of because there are, you know, pictures that you can look at and you're just assuming, okay, yeah, that's a shade. It's easy. That's easy to do. I can figure that out. But then you look at the swatches and it's like, that looks nothing like the color in the pan. And that's kind of what I experienced with this palette. I did go scrolling through their Instagram. And when I saw the clip of the swatches, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> Some of these don't look at all like the shades that I pulled. So anywho, that's what I'm dealing with today. We're going to try and do this to the best of our ability. And the reason why I say I'm duping the vibes is because it's not gonna be an exact dupe, okay? I know you guys are gonna be out there. That's not the same color, KK. I don't know, I'm just creating my own palette, okay? Based off of what I'm looking at. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go across 
um, you know, it has the three larger shimmers and the three smaller mattes then the three larger shimmers and the three smaller mattes. So I'm just going to go across when I'm doing my swatches. Now that first shade up in the corner, to me, of course, it's a shimmer and it looks like kind of like a minty green type color, but like one of those very, very light spearmint type greens. And so that one is kind of tricky for me because it's like in looking for a shadow, um, I wanted to have like that hint of blue in there with that green, even though I don't know, you know, I have no idea what that shadow actually looks like because I can't see it in the swatch video. But I really like this shade that I pulled. This one is from... So yeah, this one is from Bitter Lace Beauty. It's the shade Aquamarine. And it is so freaking gorgeous. So let me go ahead and swatch this one. So you guys can see what I mean. It's beautiful, but... Yeah, I have no idea if that is what that color is going to look like just because I can't see it in the swatch video but just from what it looks like in the pan I don't know that might be kind of close so that's the first one I pulled this next one here that I pulled you guys ever struggle trying to pick up singles with nails on this next one here this one is from Terra Moon and this is Half Moon so as you can see, that is a gorgeous, kind of really pretty, shimmery, mm, kind of like, I don't know, it's like a more of a light blue than a minty blue, but this color is gorgeous. And as you can see, it's a lot more sheer, you know, than the first shade, but it is super duper pretty. Let me see if I prefer this with the flash. I don't know. Is that a better better view for you guys? You can see the gorgeous glitter glitteriness more. But that ooh, that is gorgeous. Okay. So that is that option. And then I pulled I have way too many choices for this shade. This one is Apollo. And this one is from this is from Luxy Beauty, and this one is Apollo, and this one has kind of like that blue-green type of a look there. So that's really pretty as well. It's also very shimmery, um, but it has a little bit of a hint of gold in there, I think, as well. So... Oh, that's kind of pretty too. Okay, and then I have two more. Like I said, I pulled way too many options for this. This one is Aurora from Clarity Cosmetics. Now, of course, this is one of the ones that looks white. But let me swatch this for you so you can see why I pulled it. You see that? Okay. Definitely has that gorgeous kind of like minty blue pool in there. If you can see that. Oh, that's so pretty. And then lastly, for that first shade, this is from JD Glow. And this is called Prismatic. Look at that. That definitely has like a blue green pool. This is going to be a tough one, you guys, because since I don't know what that shade actually looks like, I'm really just going to have to pick whichever one I like the best. Oh, I'm really, really liking this one here from JD Glow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, she pretty. Okay, yeah, I'm going to pull this one. <laughs> Because this one is so gorgeous. So this is going to be my choice for that first shade. Might not be anything like it really looks, but it's pretty to me. So I'm pulling this. Okay, so that next shade up at the top looks kind of like a shimmery 
either orangey type shade or peachy type shade. So I did pull a few options to choose from. This one here is Fireworks from Give Me Glow. So this is what Fireworks looks like. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and leave my light on just so that you can see the glitteriness of each shadow. So yeah, this is Fireworks. Very, very pretty. Kind of like peachy, orangey type shade you can see there. That's gorgeous. So there's that one. Then I also pulled this shade here, which is Your Cheesy from Give Me Glow. Now this one is very, very orange. That might be a little bit more orange than what I'm looking for today, but I'm not sure. Let me swatch it. Now in the little swatch video, the shade, it looks orange, but it looks a little bit kind of not as opaque, you know what I mean? So that's kind of where I feel like maybe the peachy shade might be a little better. But yeah, it's really pretty. That one is very opaque, so I don't know about that one. Next I have here this pink lemonade from Give Me Glow. And this is what this one looks like. Gorgeous. Very, very shiny. Very pretty. Looks like I pulled quite a few from Give Me Glow, huh? So let me swatch this one. And this one, gosh, it has like hints of orange, gold, kind of like a champagne pink in there. So just looking at the swatch, I don't think that one is going to be dark enough. So that's probably going to be a no. And this last one that I pulled here, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Uh, you guys can't even see how freaking beautiful that is. It's so freaking gorgeous. But this one is from the new Clarity palette, the So Mermazing. <laughs> or is that it? So Mermazing. And it's called I Woke Up Like This. Oh, so gorgeous. Let me swatch this one. And this one is definitely way more like shimmery, glittery type, you know, of shade. And it has, it pulls more pink, definitely for sure. So that's not a good match at all because it pulls more pink, but it does kind of have like a pinky, peachy look to it. So um, I think for, mm, for that shade, it's got to be out of the first two. I'm going to go with the first one, this one here, because I feel like that one has like a peachy, orangey kind of look to it. So I think that's what I want in my dupe palette. Okay, so the next shade across the top is that pretty blue shimmer. Now this one, originally, I was like, oh, that's easy. I mean, I have a million blue shimmers, so that's going to be a piece of cake to... <laughs> to dupe and then I saw the swatch and I was like um that kind of looks like it has like a gray brown blue type look to it child that threw me all the way off let me I need to clean off my arm okay now my arm is clean but yeah so that blue shade had me like all twisted once I saw the swatch I was like uh, okay, that's definitely one of the chameleon shades or whatever. So let's just go ahead and swatch the ones that I pulled and pick one. Because honestly, I don't know if I have anything that looks like that really. So this one here is from DJ's Unique Boutique. It's called Caribbean Waters. This is one of her gorgeous multi-chromes that she launched not too long ago and this is like one of my favorites it is so freaking pretty so let me swatch this one here i mean look at that gorgeous and when you look at that it definitely turn on the light okay there you go it definitely looks like you know like it could match the shade that's in the pan to me 
I mean, it's beautiful. Look at that. But, like I said, it doesn't look anything like that swatch. And I was like, yo. Okay, so who's next? Next, I have here... Oh, this is one of my Glam Shop shadows called Mirage. You know, like duo color. I can't think of the name right now. I'm drawing a blank, but I'll put it on the screen. You know, the ones with the two different shades in there. Gorgeous. So let me swatch this one. And I don't need a lot of this. It picks up quite a bit when you touch it. And so I chose this one because I was like, man, that swatch has got like those different colors in there. But this, yeah, even this one, it's like, no, that's not a good match. And it doesn't look, you know, yeah, it has a lot of green, green and gold in there. Y'all, that one might be tough. But this shade, this shadow is gorgeous though, ain't it? Look at that. It's pretty. <laughs> but yeah, not a match. And then this one here is from Davina. It's called Messier. Messier. Very pretty. Now, the reason why I pulled this, and I think this is probably going to be my choice, is because, as you can see, when you're looking at it right now, it kind of looks like it has that, like, like brown, gray look to it. And then bam you know it's like oh but it's blue <laughs> it's like nah it's not really blue but yeah it's kind of blue <laughs> so I'm thinking this is probably going to be my choice because I feel like this one will be the closest to what that swatch looks like and I really need to try and go by the swatches you know because the pan can kind of confuse you so i'm thinking yeah looking at that swatch it's gonna be this one here because like i said you can see there it's like yeah it's blue but then that multi-chrome shift it takes it into the other colors you know that gold and gray or whatever it is but that blue is definitely in there. So I think this is going to be the choice for that third shimmer on the top. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, see, you can see that blue. See that? Yeah, so we're going to pick this. I mean, listen, I don't know for a fact that that's one of the chameleon shades or whatever, but it will be my guess that it is. <laughs> Okay, so next we're going to move down to the second row, which has three mattes. So it has the green mat, the orange mat, and the blue mat. And I don't think I'm going to take too long with these because the mats that I pulled are pretty similar. And, you know, it is what it is. So that first green looking mat kind of looks like a forest green to me. Looks like it'd be pretty easy to dupe. This one is called Gumby and it's from ColourPop. And so, let me see if I prefer. Okay, yeah. So, I'll go ahead and turn the lights down for this one. But, yeah, this one is Gumby from ColourPop. And it really is truly just like, um, like that dark kind of forest green. You know, ColourPop doesn't have the best formula, but is good enough so there's that one this shade here is from give me glow and this is from the christmas morning palette it's called under the tree so yeah this is one that i just took out of my <laughs> give me glow palette and it's a little bit darker as you can see but still very very close so there's that one and then lastly this one is from coastal Scents. it's called fresh chive fresh chive so it's like you know basically the same shade this one coastal Scents does not have the best formula so i wouldn't choose this one probably just for that reason as you can see but 
Yeah, I think I'm probably going to go with the Give Me Glow. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Give Me Glow in the middle. This one here. Just really for quality reasons. <laughs> okay, so next we have kind of like that burnt orange type of matte. That is, you know, next to the green. Which I don't have that many shadows that fall under that color in my collection as well. This is called Dark Mango from Coastal Scents. And, you know, it definitely has like that burnt orange type of feel to it. Once again, not the most amazing quality, you know, from Coastal Scents. And it's a little bit brighter than I would like, I think, for that shadow. But it's an option. And then this one here is Empress. And this is from Colored Rain. So this one is kind of a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. So let me see how this swatches out. Yeah, I think that color would probably be a better match in my opinion. It's not as bright. And I do really like the tone of that. Yeah, I like that one. So I'm going to pull Empress from Colored Rain. <laughs> Y'all, my dupe palette is gone. <laughs> it's going to have all kind of shapes of shadows in there. Okay. Okay, so next we have kind of like that deep, dark, kind of sea blue. Like, I never know what, how to describe that color blue. Um, is it like a teal blue, but just kind of dark? I don't know. But yeah, in some of the pictures, it looks a little bit lighter. Some, it looks a little darker. And looking at the swatch, it looks pretty dark. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start off with this, but this is probably not going to be my choice. This is Majestic from Colored Rain. And I chose this one when I was thinking that the blue was a little bit lighter but funny thing is it swatches uh, i don't know it doesn't have enough of that kind of like green pull to it because that blue from that swatch you know it looks like that kind of blue that has like that dark dark green pull to it so yeah i don't know about that this next one here I'm going to have to look the name up because I believe this came out of one of my Kaleidos palettes, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I think this came out of one of my Kaleidos. If not, then it'll be on the screen. But yeah, I felt like this color might be, hmm, those look very similar, don't they? <laughs> They look very similar. Mm, dang it. Those look almost like freaking dupes. Okay, so let's try this one. This one is from Makeup Geek, and this is called Time Travel. So this one definitely looks super dark, but even this one doesn't look like it has that, that green type pool that I'm looking for. So I might just have to... Yeah, see that is very, very blue. And it's it's dark. I think this one as far as depth goes is nice. But it doesn't have that like green tealy type look to it. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Dang it. Let me look right quick. I have to have a color that's closer to that shade in that palette. Let me just look right quick. Okay, so I'm gonna check out another one of these coastal scents shadows maybe this one might be a little closer i don't know what is this this is deep viridian deep viridian from coastal scents and maybe that might have a little bit more of that blue green pull to it it does it does. Now, I don't know if that's as dark as I want it to be, but it definitely has more of that blue-green type pull. 
Mm, okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to go with one of these. I'm not sure yet. So I'm just going to put both of these in my little palette for now. And I will choose uh, at the end. I knew that blue was going to be kind of tricky. So now I can move on to some more shimmers. So we're going down to that next row that has the purple, the green, and the pinky purple type shimmer. Let's start with that purple or lavender type shimmer. And so these are the two. Oh, geez. These are the two that I chose. JD Glow Insane. So this is what that looks like. As you can see, it has a bit of like dual chrominess to it. And let me swatch. I love JD Glow shimmers. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. So that's what that one looks like. So pretty. And I definitely think that could pass for that shade. And then I also pulled here Clarity Cosmetics Toxic Trait. And this is like a foil shadow. Also has that dewy chrominess in there. Try not to pick up too much. I have a bad habit of doing that. And so that is what that one looks like. It looks like that one is a little bit just slightly darker, less ship a little less shimmery shimmery mm, let me turn on the light okay so that's what they look like with the light on Ooh, child <laughs> they are both gorgeous oh which one do i want in my palette though uh i think i'm gonna go with the first one because it's so pretty and shimmery so yeah i'm gonna go with the first one which is jd glow insane Oh, and that is insane. Okay, the next one is another difficult one because it is um, in the pan. It looks like a really light, kind of like super, super light lime green. But with the swatch, it definitely looks like it has a strong pool of gold in it along with that like limey green. So yeah, that one is kind of tricky. Um... So let me just show you the shades that I pulled. This one is called Leprechaun. Leprechaun from Clarity. Gorgeous, beautiful green shade, but it has like a little bit of hints of gold in there. Very, very pretty. And let me just swatch this one. So you can see what I mean. You know, you can see that gold in there a little bit better from the swatch. You see that? So it's like really pretty. Has that green with the gold in there. Gorgeous. I love that. This one here, this one is from Cleona. And it's called Gecko's Tail. And this is what this one looks like, if you can see that. Really pretty. Let me swatch Gecko's Tail from Cleona. So as you can see, that one, it has the green with the gold pool in there as well. Let me come over here a little bit more. Yeah. So it has, yeah, the green with the gold pool. Absolutely gorgeous. Just not as opaque and super, super shiny as the first one and then lastly I have here from Glaminatrix um, this is called Bank Bank look at that ooh child that's pretty and this one really has a gorgeous um, green and gold look to it oh look at that Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. Ooh. I think I might go with that one because that one looks like it's going to be a better fit for the color that I'm seeing in these swatches. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that one. That's gorgeous. Okay, and the last 
shimmer in that third row. Um, when I was first looking at it, I was like, mm, okay, so it's another kind of like pinky, purpley shimmer. It kind of looked a little bit more like lavender to me, but as I look at the swatches and I look more closely, it definitely has like a strong pink pull to it and it's very very light so hmm okay let me just get started this one here is give me glow jellyfish it's a foiled press pigment very gorgeous pink shade as you can see um let's take a look at this swatch and see what is happening here because i feel like it pulls more pink when you swatch it yeah for sure definitely oh that's gorgeous Ooh, let me put it over here i keep yeah oh she's pretty she is really really pretty i think she might be a little bit darker than what i need to dupe this palette but she is gorgeous okay Next, I have here from J <laughs> JD Glow. It's called Plum, and this is from their Galaxy collection. So as you can see here, it's like, you know, very, very shimmery, shiny. And it definitely has a strong kind of like lavender pull to it. But there is some pinky tones in there as well but yeah very very lavender and then the last shade that I pulled is actually from touch of glam Ooh, what does that say their writing is so small yeah it looks like it says neon who <laughs> but this is what she looks like uh, isn't she pretty very pretty Very, very shimmery, very shiny, absolutely gorgeous. Definitely has that beautiful pinkness that I'm looking for. Let me turn the light off so you can see these without the light. So that's what they look like without the light. Gosh, that's a tough one. Mm, it might be the touch of glam. Mmm turn the light back on <laughs> y'all know i like to see that shimmery shim oh the first one is so gorgeous but we trying to dupe the vibe so i think i'm gonna go with the touch of glam neon who and i'm sorry you guys i know i'm over here like the clapper with the lights on lights off but <laughs> i need to be able to see the shim shims okay i need to be able to see just how shiny and shimmery is gonna be okay so, I'm going to go ahead and turn the light back off for the mattes because it's a little bit, you know, easier to see. There we go. Okay, so last row, you guys. We got that pretty kind of like, is that like a light periwinkle type purple? I never know if I'm using the name periwinkle right. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and swatch some of these shadows that I pulled for that. This one here is called Proton Purple. This is from... Ooh, child, I am drawing a blank. NBA Cosmetics. <laughs> Proton Purple. Oh, this is beautiful. This looks like it might be a little bit... Mm, too warm tone like more of a ready tone purple than a bluey tone purple the one in the palette looks more cool tone to me but you know what do i know i'm just looking at a picture right <laughs> so and on the swatch it actually looks darker you know so this is what that one looks like super duper gorgeous but i don't think that's a match but that's a pretty shade though this one i think might be the closest this is another shadow that i pulled from one of my um 
Kaleidos palettes. And I know that because there's no name on the back. So yeah, this must have came out of the lavender one. And I think this one might be like the closest match. So let's swatch her. Because she is like more cool tone, I think. Yeah, more truer to that color that I'm looking for, for sure. Oh yeah, I think that's probably going to be a perfect match, quite honestly. So, yeah, so far, this is the winner. And then lastly, I did pull this shade from Makeup Geek. It's called Back to the Fuchsia. <laughs> That's a cute name, Back to the Fuchsia. And like I said, you know, in the beginning, like, I really do love just kind of exploring my collection and the shades that I have because... Sometimes they just sit there and I don't know what I have. Now that's really pretty and it's actually kind of dark. That one actually looks pretty close to the swatch. It doesn't look um, like the shadow in the pan. This one does. But this one actually looks like the swatch to me. Y'all let me know. Ooh, that's going to be tricky. That is going to be tricky. Okay. I'm going to pull both of these for now, just like the blue I'm going to have to pick later. Okay, next we have that yellow, and it just looks like a basic yellow matte when you look at the shadow in the pan. But when you look at the swatch, it looks darker. It looks kind of like some type of, like, orangey type yellow. So, y'all, I don't know. I don't know what I have close to that. Now... I picked a basic yellow. This yellow is from NBA Cosmetics, but it's a shimmer because I was like, well, do I want to switch it up? And then I pulled this one from one of my ColourPop palettes, which I think is probably going to be the closest. So let's just start out with this regular basic um, yellow that I think this came out of one of my Kaleidos um, palettes as well. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Yeah, this came out of one of my Kaleidos palettes as well. It's just a basic yellow, you know. <laughs> Nothing phenomenal, but I really like the pigmentation, okay? Sometimes yellows just look dusty and ashy, but this one is definitely not dusty or ashy. It's nicely pigmented, so that's just a basic yellow. This is the shimmer from MBA Cosmetics. It's called Free Spirit. And I pulled this because I was like, you know, it's just yellow. Do I want to mix it up a bit and make mine a shimmer in my dupe palette? Which I could do, you know, because it's really more of a satin. This is one of those shades that you can, you know, use as a shimmer or as a matte because it's really a satin. But it's just a, another basic yellow. Nothing phenomenal about it and then lastly i pulled this one from my color pop palette this was from the palette that they did um from that black collection so yeah it's the yellow shade out of here from color pop and i'm thinking this one is probably going to be the best this one actually has a little bit of shimmer in it because it's one of their sequin mattes that they like to do but it's a little bit deeper a little bit darker and I feel like it will match the vibe of this palette a little bit better because I don't have anything that is looking like that orangey yellow shade so I think I'm gonna go with this one from ColourPop since it's a little bit deeper oh my goodness you guys okay so we are on the home stretch the last shade in the palette in the corner is that kind of like pinky purple matte shade. And honestly, I think <laughs> that one is just kind of like a matter of which one you think is the closest. Now, this one is from Makeup Obsessions. This is just a shadow that I pulled from one of their palettes. I don't know which one, you guys. So sorry about that. But yeah, I just kind of, you know, depotted some of the palettes that I have from them. And this is just a really pretty kind of like fuchsia pink type shade that I think would be 
somewhat of a good match. And, you know, their formula is decent, but it's not the best formula I have in my collection. So that would probably help me to decide which formula is the best. This pink is very, very pink. Very pink. It doesn't have any, like, purple pool to it. So that might not be the best match. This next one here is called Raspberry Cheesecake from Give Me Glow. And it looks like it definitely has like a pinky purple pull to it. So this one might be a good match. And the quality, as you can see, is amazing. So yeah, even that is still very, very pink. But I like it better than the first one. And then this last one here. This one is from Coastal Scents. It's called Cinnabar Rose. And that's what that one looks like. This one might be the closest, <laughs> which I'm not happy about because Coastal Scents, like I said, their formula is not my favorite. Um, but, mm, uh, you know, I don't know. I think I might be able to go ahead and go with the Give Me Glow. That That is really pretty, though. I definitely feel... <laughs> like that one might be the closest but let me see if I could find one that has a better formula than the coastal scents but kind of the same color hold on one second okay so I went ahead and I pulled one of my adept cosmetics shadows I think this one might be close it's ACM 29 so let's go ahead and swatch her and see how she compares to the Coastal Scents shade because I like that color. I'm just not sure as far as whether or not I want to use that. Oh, see, that's pretty. Ooh, but it might be a little too dark. Yeah, it might be a little too dark. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Coastal Scents because, yeah, I think that's the closest. Okay, you guys, so this is my crazy looking dupe of the Alien Cosmetics Bunnies palette <laughs> with all the colors that I chose. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this out right quick and then we can take a look and see how close I came or... You know if it's a color story that I actually really love so I'm gonna swatch it and then we'll take a look okay you guys so I went ahead and turned the light back on so you can see the sparkly goodness from the shimmer shades um yeah listen I like this color story it is really really pretty this is gorgeous. I don't know if I came close or, you know, if this is like even, you know, a, a semi-close representation of the palette, but I really love this. I love this color story together. Um, I feel like you can definitely create a lot of looks with these shades very very pretty very interesting very different i love it so even if this is not like an exact dupe of that palette for sure i really really love this color story so yeah it is gorgeous i love it let me know what you guys think i had so much fun picking these shades from all of my singles and stuff i really really had a good time so let me know what you guys think like I said I know you know this is my own variation but of course I definitely pulled from what I thought was going on with that palette and I absolutely love it so yeah let me know you guys if you guys are thinking about grabbing this palette on the pre-order if you already did or if you're going to try and dupe it with your own singles I'm curious to know but honey yeah I buy this palette in a heartbeat it's gorgeous <laughs> So, yeah, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me to try and dupe the vibes of this palette from Alien Cosmetics. Like I said, it's called the Bunnies Palette. If you are, you know, wanting to pick it up, definitely go ahead and get in on that pre-order. 
but yeah i'm feeling it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles <laughs>